What's up guys, David here. I've been asked a lot lately which synths am I using and which synths have I used on my latest record Who Beat the Moon. So <laughs> the answer is both simple and complicated at the same time. So yeah, the simple answer will be I'm not using any synths or any VST plugin synths. But yeah, when I when I'm lazy, I usually just turn on massive. But when I'm not lazy, I tend to record my own samples. It can be a glass, it can be a fart, it can be anything you want, and then I manipulate those sounds to make something interesting and something more personal, more original than I would have just using a synth plugin that 90% of musicians and music producers are already using. Now, how do you do that? You're probably asking and luckily I have a video uh, I've, I've made a few months ago while I was working on Who Beat the Moon when I recorded some glasses and made a bunch of sounds using that. Hopefully you'll learn something after the video, I'll just explain briefly uh, my way of thinking about making those things. So yeah, I hope you will enjoy the video and I'm rolling the video now. So, that was the video. Uh, let me just explain briefly what happened. I chose one of the glasses, the one that sounded best to me. And then I recorded that glass. Um, for the recording I used my AQG microphone, but you can basically record this with some, you know, $15 mic from some Chinese websites. It will work, don't worry about the quality too much, um, because you're gonna destroy that sample anyway in the process. Then I choose one particular hit that sounded the best to me, put that into the sampler. Speaking of the sampler, Cubase 9 has this new amazing feature called Sampler. It's nothing revolutionary, that thing existed in all kinds of forms uh, for years now, if not maybe decades. I don't know, but I know it's been here for a long time, but now the sampler is like the integrated feature into Cubase 9. That feature alone was enough for me to upgrade from Cubase 8 to Cubase 9. Because some of you guys who follow me for a long time know how much I like to mess around with different sounds and sample different shit and just implement them into my songs. After putting a sample into the sampler, then I've added some effects. Some distortion, why not? It changes the character of the sound. You can do a lot of crazy stuff with distortion. Um, reverb to give it more space, to dry it out. You can control that depending on uh, your arrangement needs. That's pretty much it. Then it's just tweaking and changing it to the song's needs. Um, simple as that. Sometimes, of course, I feel lazy and then I just power up 
one of the plugins. Usually it's massive because that's the that's the one plugin I'm really used to. And luckily it has so many features that you can play around with, you know, pre-made sounds and make them personalized to the degree where they're not recognizable but by other producers. So yeah, it's all fun, it's all it all serves the creativity and I couldn't be happier with the tools we have available today to just mess around, compose some new music, get inspired. And I know you might be wondering like why all that? Why would you go through all that? Because there's thousands, if not millions of samples out there that sound great. I used to use like a lot of, you know, stock um, sounds from the plugins and and I've heard some of one of the sounds I used in someone else's song and I was like Fuck. not gonna do that again. That's it for today's video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and um, share. Go like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram. Um, just do whatever you feel like doing to help me out, spread out the word about my shit. I feel like this video is going to be really weird because I keep looking in my monitor that's up there. Um, must be kind of strange because like there's no eye contact I'm just constantly just staring at your haircut or whatever anyway see you guys in the next video bye today we have a famous Belgrade marathon coming through my neighborhood so we went out for an ice cream Guys, thanks a lot for 20,000 subscribers. I'm really happy with that number, so thanks a lot.